Greenhouse growers around the world know the importance of light. But when asked, many growers have a difficult time explaining how they can manage light on their or in their crops. Plants see light differently than we do. Growers know that light is necessary to grow their plants. But if you asked growers what is the best way to manage light to optimize plant growth, you'd probably get a different answer from nearly every one of them. The purpose of today's video is to learn the basics about light and more importantly, the basics about light in relation to plant production. The purpose of this video is to discuss the basics about light in relation to how plants grow. Light is a part of the spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. Light is simply a name for the wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum that can be detected by the human eye. Light wavelengths are usually measured in nanometers, which is abbreviated as NM. The visible light spectrum includes those wavelengths between 390 nanometers and 750 nanometers. Blue light is considered to be a portion of the light that has wavelengths between 400 and 500 nanometers. Green light consists of wavelengths between 500 and 600 nanometers. Red light has wavelengths between 600 and 700 nanometers. Together, blue, green, and red light make up the spectrum of light that is used by plants for the production of food through photosynthesis. The light wavelengths between 400 and 700 nanometers which affect plant growth are referred to as photosynthetically active radiation or PAR. Less than half of the electromagnetic radiation from the sun is photosynthetically active radiation. The remaining amount of electromagnetic radiation consists of shorter wavelengths below 400 nanometers, including ultraviolet light, or longer wavelengths, including far red light, approximately 700 to 800 nanometers, and infrared radiation. Light is important for plants to grow, whether those plants be fruits, vegetables, or ornamentals. Light is one of the main drivers of plant growth. Plants use light in the chemical process of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants convert carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrates and oxygen in the presence of light. Depending on the plant species, providing the optimal levels of photosynthetically active radiation, or PAR, maximizes photosynthesis and plant growth. If there is not a sufficient amount of photosynthetically active radiation, plant growth can slow down and the overall quality of plants, including size and flowering, can be negatively affected. At the same time, if there is more photosynthetically active radiation than plants use, there is no increase in plant growth. In controlled environment plant production, such as a greenhouse, having the ability to manage light along with water, carbon dioxide, and nutrients is extremely important. As you can see in the diagram, the human eye sees a lot of light in the wavelengths from about 390 to 750 nanometers. Historically, most of the light bulbs that have been manufactured along with the tools used to measure light revolved around the light that was visible and pleasing to the human eye. Plants see light differently than the human eye. For photosynthesis to occur, plants need light that is higher in the red and blue wavelengths. Plants are light counters, meaning they look at light over a given period of time and not in a snapshot. This is one of the reasons that plants do not grow well under all types of lights. Light quantity is the number of light particles or photons that are capable of performing photosynthesis. A light meter can be used to measure light at any given period of time. Some of the different units for measuring light include foot candles, lux, and micromoles per square meter per second. Light meters that measure micromoles per square meter per second quantify the number of photons that fall on a square meter every second. All of these measurements of light are instantaneous readings. Daily Light Integral The amount of light that plants receive varies over a 24-hour period. Daily light integral, DLI, is the amount of photosynthetically active radiation, number of light particles or photons, received each day in a particular location or area. Light meters can be used to measure the number of light photons that accumulate in a square meter over a 24-hour period. Daily light integral is expressed as moles of light per square meter per day. Researchers at Clemson University have developed maps of monthly outdoor daily light integral throughout the United States. Daily light integral throughout the United States varies from 5 to 60 moles of light per square meter per day. Daily light integral can be influenced by latitude, time of year, length of day, photo period, and cloud cover. In upcoming video shorts, we will take a deeper look at these three topics.